Hello everyone. Welcome back to the video lecture series of electrical circuits and network. In the previous lecture, we have seen the resonance, the condition for resonance and the expression for resonant frequency. In this session, we are going to discuss the Q factor and bandwidth of a series resonant circuit and its importance. So let's get started. The Q factor of a series resonant circuit is given by this expression Q is equal to 2 pi into ratio of maximum energy stored per cycle to the energy dissipated per cycle. As we know the series resonant circuit consists of one resistor, one inductor and one capacitor out of which inductor and capacitor are the energy storing devices. So energy will be stored by L and C. And the energy is dissipated by the resistor. So the ratio of the maximum energy stored per cycle by the inductor or capacitor to the energy dissipated per cycle by resistor, the ratio of these two is known as Q factor of a that series resonant circuit. This Q factor also represents the efficiency of resonant circuit to store the energy, which is given by this expression also in terms of circuit elements. Q is equal to omega naught L upon R which is equal to 1 upon omega naught RC where omega L is the inductive reactance and omega naught C is the capacitive reactance. And also it can be expressed as 1 upon R into root L upon C. Okay. From this expression we can say that the Q is inversely proportional to R because R, in, R is in a denominator. So, if we increase the R, Q quality factor will get reduced. This Q factor represents the voltage magnification provided by the circuit at its resonance frequency. Suppose we have the input voltage of 5 volt, RMS voltage 5 volt and which is connected across the one resistor, inductor and capacitor connected, connected in series. At resonance, we know that XL is equal to XC. So, XL and XC cancel each other. So, the whole voltage across this um, whole, whole, whole input voltage will be appear across the resistor. So, voltage across the resistor will be the input voltage which is 5 volt. But at the same time, the voltage across inductor and capacitor in, is the same but opposite in nature and it, it is equal to Q times the input voltage. It is equal to, so that means VL is equal to VC. Uh, is equal to Q times input voltage here Q Q into input voltage input voltage is here 5 volts so it will be 5 times Q okay and this is called as voltage magnification we will discuss this uh, in the upcoming slides in detail let's see uh, this is this the red one red curve is the curve of current versus frequency also, this second one is the also the curve of current with respect to frequency but at the different resistance value. Suppose RD1 is the resistance and we are getting this curve at this resonance frequency. This is the maximum current value. When the resistance is increased, what will happen uh, due to the resistance increase, the current will decrease. So, at that same resonant frequency, we get the maximum value but it is less than this one due to the increase in resistance. Also, we, uh, we, we have seen that the Q and R are inversely proportional. If we increase the R, Q will be reduced. So, here also as the R is increased from R is increased from R D1 to R D2. So, this current is decreased from here to here at the resonant frequency. This is the FR is the resonant frequency. As here we have less resistance, so Q factor will be high. And here we have more resistance, so Q factor will be low. Okay. Also, the the region between these two vertical green green lines and also these two green lines is known as bandwidth. Okay, is known as bandwidth. And what is mean by that bandwidth? We will see here. The bandwidth of a series resonant circuit is the difference between the frequencies at which the circuit power reduces to 50% of the maximum 
power. This is the same graph of current with respect to frequency where fr is the resonant frequency at which we get the maximum value of current and these are the two points where the current is 0 0.707 times ir that means 1, 1 upon root 2 times ir is the value of current and at this instant we get two values 1, 1 is here and 1 is here. This is corresponding to the frequency which is more than uh, resonant frequency and this is the point corresponding to this frequency which is which is below the resonant frequency okay and this is the region from f1 to f2 is known as band width okay and here given that the circuit power reduces to 50 50 percent that means f1 and f2 are the frequencies where the circuit power reduces to 50 percent we know that power is the product of voltage rms into current rms okay and this is the total circuit power if we reduce this v by 1 upon root 2 times and also i by 1 upon root 2 times then we will get v upon root 2 and i upon root 2 so v into i that is nothing but p and root 2 into root 2 will be 2 so p upon root 2 this is the power now at f1 and f2 the power is is now 50 percent it is reduced to 50 percent from p to p by 2 and at that point we are getting these two frequencies and the region between these two, two frequencies is known as bandwidth. Bandwidth is equal to F2 minus F1 and uh, if the frequencies are in hertz, so the unit of bandwidth also hertz. Also, we have the relation between bandwidth and quality factor as bandwidth is equal to FR upon Q where FR is the resonant frequency of the circuit and Q is the quality factor of the circuit. That means if Q factor is increased, the bandwidth will be reduced. If Q factor is reduced, the bandwidth will increase. Q factor and bandwidth are inversely proportional to each other. And FR is the constant because it depends upon the circuit circuit elements. Okay, if Q factor is increased, the bandwidth will reduce. Then what is the importance of this bandwidth? Suppose we have the same current curve with respect to frequency. Here is the we get the maximum current I is equal to V upon R at the this resonant frequency FR. Okay. And we FR and these are the two points where the current is 0 0.707 times of I max. This is the point one and this is the second point. This point corresponds to this frequency FH, which is known as upper frequency at is uh, greater than FR. And this is the point corresponding corresponding to this FL frequency, which is known as lower frequency, as it is below the resonant frequency or less than the resonant frequency. And this is the region from FL to FH. We are we named it as band width. Suppose we have on a radio station 98.3 having frequency 98.3 megahertz, and we want to listen the music from that particular radio station. Then for that we have to tune our circuit to that frequency that means our circuit's natural uh, circuit resonant frequency will be 98 adjusted to 98.3 to list to tune to that particular radio station okay but we have tuned the circuit to the 98.1 suppose for example we have tuned the circuit to 98.1 megahertz then what will happen we get the music or we get the voice from that radio station but of a poorer quality okay and suppose this is the exact uh, resonant frequency we want but we get we can achieve 98.5 megahertz for example and and what will happen in this case in this case also we get the voice from this radio station as it as the frequency is nearer to this but of poor quality but we want more quality or best quality voice for that we have to tune the circuit circuits resonant frequency to exactly 98.3 megahertz which is the frequency of uh, that particular radio station also and but here this is the range from 98.1 to 98.5 we can listen the music from this radio station so for that radio station the bandwidth will be 98.1 to 98.5 hertz okay this is the bandwidth okay this is the bandwidth for that particular radio station. In this way, uh, the bandwidth and the, the quality factor are uh, interrelated. If we want the uh, more quality, 
more quality voice from the from the same radio station and what we'll do we'll adjust the frequency nearer to this 98.3 if if we can achieve the 98.2 or 98.25 then as we as we approach towards this frequency we will get the more quality and as we as we approach from this side also nearer to 98.3 megahertz then the quality will be better than these two that means if this fh is reduced nearer to fr or this fl is increased nearer to fr then quality will improve because this this curve is sharpened the sharpness of curve is increased and the, if the sharpness is increased the quality factor is increased but at the other hand the bandwidth will reduce okay if we want to better selectivity or better quality the bandwidth should be should be lesser okay then the next is the magnification and magnification in series resonant circuit we have the circuit series rlc circuit where r l and c are connected in series across this input voltage v okay if this v is 5 volt for example this v is 5 volt then at a resonance this vl oh, sorry xl and xc are equal okay and due to this the vl and vc are also equal and they cancel each other because they are one is in lagging nature one is one is having leading nature so they will cancel each other and the total input voltage will appear across this resistor only so voltage across resistor vr will be the input voltage v only if here is 5 volt we have 5 volt then vr will be 5 volt but what is the voltage across l and c the, this we are going to see here the voltage across c vl is equal to i into xl according to ohm's law i into xl but we have xl is equal to 2 pi fr l and at resonance current is voltage upon resistance so v into r into 2 pi fr l where fr is the resonant frequency putting the values of this resonant 1 upon 2 pi under root of root l c where 2 pi 2 pi is cancelled here here root l and 1 here root l is cancelled and we will get this v upon r into root l by c which can be written as 1 upon r under root of l by c into v and we have already seen this 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 part of the observation can be known as q factor so the voltage across inductor can be written as q times v quality factor times v and q is always greater than 1 so q times v will be the voltage across inductor also we can derive similarly voltage across capacitor vc is equal to i into xc is equal to v upon r Again, xc is 1 upon 2 pi frc, putting the values of fr, 1 upon 2 pi root lc, 2 pi 2 pi cancel, and this we will get v upon r under root of l by c. And again, this, this, is, this is known as q factor, so q into v. So, the, in case of series resonance, the voltage across inductor and capacitor is q times voltage. Okay? This is the magnification in series resonance circuit. Let's summarize. The series resonant circuit at f is equal to fr we know that that means at a resonant frequency xl is equal to xc inductive reactance becomes equal to capacitive reactance and in that case z is purely resistive and it is minimum and z is equal to r only resistive only and we have the expression for resonant frequency 1 upon 2 pi root lc hertz phase angle is 0 so power factor is 1 Current is maximum here as the z is minimum and it is given by i is equal to v upon z that is v upon r. And q factor also known as voltage magnification factor which is given by 1 upon r under root of root l by c. And voltage across inductor and capacitor is q times q and also the voltage and current in the series resonance circuit are in phase with each other. This is all about the series resonant circuit. Okay. This is all about the series resonant circuit. In the next session, we are going to uh, solve some of the numericals from the learned topics of the resonance. Okay, till then, stay tuned and keep learning. Thank you.